Hi guys, it's Russell and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing quick, easy, realistic lighting with the use of HDRIs. If you haven't already, you're going to want to go to a website like hdrihaven.com. It's 100% uh, free and doesn't require a sign up. So clicking up on the right here in the HDRIs, you can take a look through their catalog. They have a number of different options, indoor, outdoor, nature, industrial, you name it, they got it. Some of the images here are going to show you uh, a preview of what the whites and the blues, the transparency and reflections are going to look like. Once you find one that you'd like, you can click in on it and then scroll down to the download section. You're going to see a number of different resolution options here. 2K usually works for me, but if you wanted some more detail in the actual background images, you can go higher if you'd like. Once you click on it, it will download automatically to a folder of your choice. I'd recommend kind of compiling them all into one folder as we do make reference to the folder location in the shading editor in Blender. Okay, over to Blender, we have a terrible sculpt here. We're only going to make it worse by shining more light on it. We're just in the matte cap view right now, solid view. And then over to the material preview, looking a little bit better. And then finally, over to the render view. I'm in cycles right now. Looks quite, looks quite dark. Uh, you could definitely benefit from some better lighting. So up to the shading editor tab here on the top. We are going to go down to the middle part of the screen over on the left. And we're going to click on world. Okay, so we have a couple simple nodes here. Make sure that you tick uh, Use Nodes if you haven't already. And then we're going to Shift A, Search Environment. And we're going to link up the color to the color of the background node. If everything turns pink. That just means Blender is waiting for the file. So we're going to click on Open in the Environment Texture node. And you're going to navigate to where you downloaded that HDR. I, it's hard to say. And there you have it. Uh, so quick, realistic lighting without too much work. So you can see that the model's being put in the space of the HDR environment. If you didn't want that, if you had an environment of your own, you can go over to the Rendered Properties tab on the right, and then down to the Film section and click Transparent. So you just retain the lighting, but you do away with the background image. Okay, so it's looking a lot better, but maybe a little bit bright for my tastes. So I'm going to go to the background node and then play with the strength slider here. I'll go 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.4, I think I eventually settled on. And if you wanted, I suppose you could stop here. But you can do a little bit more. Um, here I'm just showing if you wanted to, you can enable the node wrangler add-on. This add-on just basically allows you to work with nodes a little bit more quickly and efficiently. It's not needed in this instance, but I thought it'd be useful just to mention it because I'm about to use a keyboard shortcut, um, Control T, that is enabled by this add-on. So clicking on the environment node, I click Control T, and you can see these two nodes quickly pop up. You could do this manually if you'd like, um, but just going uh, Shift A search and then typing in the name of the nodes but uh, with the node wrangler it enables you to do this a little bit faster okay so you can see now playing with the rotate sliders here um, you can create different moods quite quickly 90 180 puts it kind of in a backlight situation also get kind of a spooky look there with the light kind of coming from the bottom can play around with these things. You can also use this with textures as well. Okay, so I eventually settle on a 90 degree rotation in the Z. Creates a good shadow across the face. And there you have it. That's all I got, guys. That's a quick, realistic lighting with the use of HDRIs. I hope that helped in some small way. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.